very appropriately for talking about this movie. I have my Halloween mug with me. Um, happy Halloween, everyone. Cheers to another movie review. Welcome back, or if you are new here, welcome. My name is Katrina, and I make bookish content here on this channel every week, and then movie reviews just like this one here at the weekend. All of my movie reviews are spoiler free and I will leave my playlist of recent reviews linked up above in case you are looking for something to watch this weekend. Um, today I am going to be talking about Adam's Family 2. I went to see Adam's Family, must have been two years ago because I don't think I went to the cinema last Halloween, no, it must have been two years ago, and saw Adam's Family. And I was very impressed with Adam's Family. I thought it talked a lot about diversity and kind of touched on mental health in a very sort of subtle way that still made it a film that was suitable for all the family to go and see. And so when I saw the trailer for Adam's Family 2 for the first time, I was excited that it was coming out and I was excited to go and watch it. Um, I will try and find my movie review of Adam's Family 1 and leave it linked up above in case you have missed it. And just as an added level to this movie review, I did go and see this with a five-year-old. And so I kind of have a little bit of extra insight into um, how a five-year-old might react to this film, as well as how a 36-year-old might react to this film. Um, so I will start off by saying that I was a little bit disappointed in this one. I felt like if I were a five-year-old, I would be slightly bored, um, and the five-year-old with me did ask when it was going to end. Um, having been so excited for when it was going to begin, she did ask when it was going to end. Um, so I think that they kind of were riding off the coattails of the success of the first film and felt like, oh, we just have to kind of do the same thing again with this film. Like, no, in today's movie market, the movie market is so saturated, especially with things having been delayed. You are up against multiple films and multiple family films right now. Obviously, we've got Ron's Gone Wrong coming out. We've got Hotel Transylvania coming out. And then if people are looking for scary films, you know, we've right now in the cinemas, we've got James Bond, we've got June, we've got Venom, we've got Halloween. Like, you are up against a lot of other films. You need to try a little bit harder. I feel like they went, right we're gonna have Wednesday have some issues in this one a bit like the last one and we're gonna do a road trip so the road trip aspect of the film I personally enjoyed I liked the way that they had them coming up against real landmarks you know they go to Miami they go to San Antonio they go to Death Valley we see sort of the the culture that they see through their eyes um, and so I did like the road trip aspect of the film. They also go in the Adams Family sort of camper van. Um, and I enjoyed seeing that and seeing the differences, the way they kind of fitted it out in an animated way. Um, and I did enjoy that. We have some weird things going on with Uncle Fester. We have some weird things going on with Wednesday and Pugsley. But in terms of the actual like character arcs for the whole family, I feel like they were just lacking and they were just a little bit on the silly side. Um, I f did not laugh until a couple of scenes with Lurch towards the end. Whereas I feel like with the first Adams Family film and with an animated film of this caliber in general, I would laugh more, um, but I did not laugh until very close to the end. And then circling back to my cinema going companion, there were two bits where um, they were genuinely quite scared. Um, and so there's a sort of sciency experiment bit um, towards the end that is really quite scary and quite sort of like intense there's a lot going on there's a lot of sound there's a lot of you know they talk in the, the film description of mild peril there's a lot of peril going on in this um section and then there's a section earlier on where just some weird stuff happens and lurch is a little bit on the scary side so just be warned if you are taking younger children to go and see this you know some some moral support or maybe a tactical trip to the toilet may be necessary um but yeah i did not find it particularly scary but the bit that I'm talking about with the science experiment where there's a lot going on there's a lot of flashing there's a lot of action there's a lot of noise and a lot of characters are all in danger at the same time for different reasons and so that bit definitely is a little bit more intense I went into this with high hopes you know 
I offered to take my five-year-old friend to go and see this film uh, because I genuinely wanted to see it and I was genuinely excited to see it. When I first saw the trailer it was when I saw Space Jam and the person sitting next to me was super excited to see the trailer and so I, I couldn't help but think back to uh, to him and whether he'd watched it and been disappointed or not as well. Um, so yeah, not really any laughs in there until the end not really any bits that were particularly worthy of comment. Um, there were some questions about why the characters were doing what they were doing. And so if that's not plain for a, a five-year-old to see, then as a family film, I don't think the film's done a particularly good job. Like, I, I don't think you should be asking, well, why is he doing that now? Why would they do that? Um, like I say, the road trip aspect of it, I enjoyed. Lurch has some funny parts in this one but aside from that I was just a bit disappointed so when I cycle back to my usual ending of should you pay your cinema going money to go and see this one no I don't think you should I think you should wait till this one is released to view at home in some way whether that's some sort of streaming service or you're buying it from some sort of streaming service um you know go and rent it from Blockbuster if you live in Bend Oregon um but yeah, no, I do not think you should pay your cinema going money to go and see this. I think there are other films that are out there for family movie viewing for half term week or whatever your family movie viewing is. Um, I'm sure that Hotel Transylvania will be better. I will definitely be going to see Ron's Gone Wrong and so I will bring you my thoughts on that here very soon. So on that note, make sure you are subscribed and hit that notification bell so that you do not miss out on my future movie reviews. I will be back with more bookish content for you in the week um, and as always if there are any other movie reviews you would like to hear my thoughts on I basically want to see everything at the cinema right now so let me know in comments if there's something in particular you want me to review here on the channel next week for you um, and I will see you with that movie review then thanks for watching